um, and then of course reporting. So, but coming across the the menu here, we've got your own buffs, which are going to show up on this part of your screen. And then you come to your mini map, and we'll go ahead and expand your the map as well, so we can show you all the different uh, options you have. So. You can actually select a different map if you're not in it. Um, and the cool thing is you can auto-run to locations in different maps. So uh, You might get stuck. Sometimes it'll get hung up on, a, on an obstacle or whatnot, but it's still pretty convenient. Um, we've also got the NPCs that are available in each, uh, in, in each area. So let's look at Navia here. Zoom in a little bit. Uh, I'm actually using my mouse wheel to scroll in and out on the map. So uh, this will show you your different NPCs, and uh, when you choose whichever one you want to do, it'll highlight it on the map. Now that one's highlighted, so makes it a little easier to find things. Um, and then your monsters. I'm actually surprised to see these guys. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, look at that. Um, I forgot there there were some uh, mobs along the quest line in Navia that, that you have to kill, so this will help you find them uh, if you're lost and can't figure out where to go. So now for uh, specific icons, um, I'm not really, I don't really think I need to read each one of these to you guys, but uh, I'll take a look at the chat. Do you guys have any questions about... Um, the icons you can see in here other than, of course, why doesn't crafting work? Because, as we've said multiple times, crafting is not in-game yet. <laughs> I don't have to do quests. I'm a GM. I can teleport wherever I want. Some of the folks in the chat there were giving me a hard time for having my uh, level 1 quest still on here. Noes asks, is there an icon for the food shop? Um, I'm not sure if you mean the grocer, which is the one that sells your potions, or if you're talking about the ones that have the uh, sort of the side quest achievement ones where you have to fuse the different foods and stuff together. But um, if you're talking about the ones where you fuse the stuff together, you're going to want to check your, uh, your purple... Your purple icons here. So like Navia specialty. That's gonna be uh if 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 it's the NPC I think you're talking about. Let's uh let's take a look here. So you've got your signature dishes here. And then you can buy these different ones here. I think this is the one you're talking about, no less. Um, if it's not, just go ahead and let me know. I know there's a delay on the uh, on the stream, so just let me know. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and look at some of the other options here. Um, this is this is one I'm actually kind of excited to show you guys because I just figured out how to do this, probably because I'm a big noob, but. Uh, so, your achievements. Um, as you can see, when you've got your tracker open, it can take up a lot of space. Even if you minimize all of your different things you have available, it's still a decent sized box on your screen there. So a lot of questions we've been getting is, how do I get rid of the tracker from my screen? And I finally figured it out how to do it. So you're going to press the L button to bring up your uh, quests, and just uncheck that box. And see you later. You could do the same thing with your achievements. Um, they moved it. It's not over here. It's here instead. Uh, and then that'll take that off of your tracker there, and you'll have more... 
<laughs> when he just jumped up in front of the screen there. And now you'll have more uh, room, more visibility on the screen. So, um, Another thing regarding UI, which I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show, sort of out of order, in your system options, in your settings rather, um, I just discovered this as well, SFX and UI. They've got your, your sound options, which are, which are pretty straightforward. But you've also got your UI settings. Um, obviously, you can lock the interface, which will prevent you from accidentally moving, accidentally moving things around. But then you've got scaling, and this is one of the coolest things. So by default, you can see these windows, uh, when you're on a lower resolution like I am right now, uh, these, the default setting can, can take up quite a bit of space. So I actually scaled it down. So now I've got more room. Uh, you do lose a little bit in, you know, text quality just because of the compression, but, uh... But yeah, and you can do the same thing with, uh, font size, so... Uh... So yeah, I hope that, uh, answers some of your questions, some little tips there for your UI. Uh, let's go... Do a couple more things. I want to make sure we cover as much as we can. Um, these are this this is a window that will pop up whenever you level up and you have points to assign, uh, or if you have a new uh, quest that pops up for you. Um, a lot of you guys have probably seen this already if you've been playing the game, but if not, you click on it, it'll take you straight to your window here where you can assign your points. Um, so let's go over. I'll go over the buttons individually because each one of those is kind of their own system and tutorial on itself so uh, you've got your hotkeys here for your skills um, I've only got one bar open but uh, you can open up the other ones I'm actually not sure how many we can add so up oh, okay it's three uh, so yeah um, obviously, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's going to be your straight number keys. Uh, C1 is going to be Control plus your key, and A1 is going to be Alt plus your key. Got a nice little group here uh, crashing the live stream. I do appreciate all of you guys tuning in to support it. We're, we're trying to really showcase how uh, how cool this game is, and with you guys watching, it really helps. Even if you are photo bombing during a, an official tutorial live stream, I'll forgive you. Uh, so let's take a look here. Uh, last couple of things for UI. Uh, you've got your progression bar. Um, it's going to show you when you're going to get your points. Uh, occasionally they'll be in the middle here. just depends on where you are progression-wise. And then, of course, your chat windows. And I do want to cover these a little bit, but not too much. So your chat windows, you can right-click for your uh, system one. And obviously, this is going to adjust what shows up. I usually take everything out except for world chat. Uh, just because I'd like to see what the players are saying as opposed to what the NPCs are saying. So, uh, for general chat, again, you get the. Uh, you can either add windows. So let's make a. Just real quick, let's make a party channel. We'll add that in here. We'll click on settings down here, and we're going to take out all of this spammy spam. And if I decide to run a dungeon later, I could probably leave general open. But now that is configured for me to be able to only see my party system. Um, and then of course you can do the same thing. Uh, you can change your settings pretty much however you 